everyone, Renee here. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be unboxing and reviewing the Dash Mini Griddle. As you know, I love to make healthy foods at home and I like to make it easy and quick and convenient. Having four daughters means that I've gotta be quick in the kitchen. There's not time to just mess around. So I saw this and immediately thought that this would just be the perfect way to make meals quickly. And I also thought it'd be fun because my girls could be able to use it you know, even when I'm not around. I get a little nervous when they're using my stove top, but this is one that I thought would be safe and effective and they could make some quick meals. They're starting to want to get in the kitchen, especially my oldest Sophia is starting to want to cook for herself. So let's open this up and we're gonna give it a try with a few different things in today's video. I'm gonna start with trying to make basically a fried egg, or I guess you'd call it an unfried egg, an egg over easy in the mini griddle. I've seen it done before. I wanna try it for myself, see how it tastes. As many of you know, if you've watched some of my What I Eat in a Day videos, I love to make steamed eggs, which is basically a fried egg without the oil. It's kind of like an unfried egg. But anyway, I love to make them that way and they're absolutely delicious and my favorite way to eat eggs. But this might be quicker. I don't know, it might be something that tastes just as delicious. I also want to try it with pancakes, sandwiches, so let's open this thing up and see what it's like. I do have the Dash Mini Waffle Makers. I actually have three, four of them, actually. I have the pumpkin shape, the heart shape, the circle. I have two circles. One circle is for my husband who is celiac and he can't use our waffle maker. So I have one of those. So I've got lots of difference and I love their waffle makers. So when I saw this at the store, I just knew I had to get it. I will link it down below. So I actually bought it from Amazon. I'll link that down below. For you the nice thing about all of the dash products is they come with this little book and inside the book they have tons of different recipe ideas so in the waffle one they give you waffle waffle recipe ideas so this says recipe book and they will give you many different things and right here you can use their recipe for homemade classic pancakes i have my own pancake recipe which i will share that with you soon it's absolutely amazing they have chocolate brownie pancakes. So they do really talk about making pancakes in here. The one thing that this would be tricky is that it would make one pancake for my family. Now, sometimes I love to make one protein pancake and then put some almond butter on it. So that would be really good for like a snack, a quick snack without turning on the stove. So we'll have to check that out. We will try that today. It shows you how to make a breakfast sandwich, which now my girls absolutely love egg bagel sandwiches. It, you can make hash browns in it. And then this says grilled cheese English muffins. Sounds amazing. So yes, making sandwiches in this would be perfect. Talks about cookie dough, cheeseburger sliders, crab cakes, cheesy biscuits, so many options. Enchiladas, quesadillas that you could put in here. So they give you all those options. It also shows you that you can make a cinnamon roll right in here. So quick, easy, lots of recipe ideas, but today we're gonna try it with the egg and then stay tuned and I will try it with a pancake here too. So we're gonna have a little fun. So now let me get this out. Now that we talk about that, of course I had to buy pink. I just, anyone who knows me knows that pink is my favorite. Love it. Let's open this up. So it comes nice, nice package just like this. And we're gonna just get started opening this getting this set. So this is what it looks like inside. You can see it's non-stick in there, two plates. So when we put the egg in, then you'll close it, let it cook. And like I said, we're gonna try this. I'm gonna wipe this down and wash this real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so I just washed that, got it all wiped down, ready to go. I've turned it on now. So the blue light is on. When the light goes off, it means it's heated and ready to go. It is nonstick, so we're gonna try this without using any oil. I am literally going to crack my egg in there and see how it tastes, see how it works. I'm thinking it's gonna be pretty quick. There's no flipping required. You don't need water, you don't need oil. So it may just be a really quick way to get a good high protein meal in. And as you know, you know, when it comes to eating healthy, it doesn't have to be difficult. I always say, do not overcomplicate things and don't make it hard. This might just make it where you can have a quick breakfast at home instead of stopping somewhere on the way that you might get, choose a little unhealthier option. We'll see. And there, the possibilities are endless with this cute little mini griddle. And my girls want to try omelets in it. My, I'm not a huge omelet fan. I don't love the texture of them, but my older girls do. And this could enable them to make them themselves and add their own ingredients. I know Sophia loves veggies in hers. Isabella's more of a meat omelet girl. But again, it just 
provides the option for them to do it and do it themselves. So if you have older kids and you want to get them in the kitchen, I like to buy things like this or so can use my waffle makers, anything like that. So while this is heating up, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's all heated up. The light went off, so that was really fast. It was literally a minute, I want to say, that it took to heat up, maybe two at most. Okay, so we're going to open up. It's nice and hot. I am going to just crack my egg right in the middle here. Let's hope I don't break the yolk, which if you like your eggs over hard or over, you know, that would be really good. Okay, so I just cracked it in the middle. It fits perfectly. I'm going to close it right there, and then we'll see what happens. I'm not sure how this is going to, you know, work. I do like a runny egg. So I'm, again, this is gonna be something that you probably have to play along, you know, play around with to see how many minutes it needs in there. When I see my eggs, I've got that down pat. So I know the timing of it. But again, I think this would be perfect if you're making an egg sandwich because this is about the size of a bagel, you know, one of the larger bagels. So you could easily make an egg bagel sandwich or an egg English muffin sandwich, anything like that. But we're just gonna let that cook here, see how it is. I'm gonna put some, you know, toast down because you know you need something to dip in your yolk. So we'll put that down there and we're gonna give this egg a try. I'm gonna kind of peek at it, see how we're coming. Oh, it's coming nice. Still needs more, it's pretty like gooey. You don't want that. So we're gonna let that cook. Let me know in the comments below what other food videos you want. As you know, on Fridays, I love to talk about all things food, whether it's my grocery hauls, whether it's recipes. And I know I have been telling you that I will show you how I make the Greek yogurt waffles. I make them not only with Greek yogurt, but also dairy-free yogurt. And they are a favorite, favorite in our house with just a few ingredients. They're quick and simple. And the other, you know, highly requested recipe is my homemade pancakes. They are delicious. And anyone that I give them to are say it's the best pancakes they've ever had. So we will get all of that to you, but let me know what else you want to see. I am all about quick, convenient, realistic, eating healthy most of the time, I mean all of the time, because you know, healthy living is all about being balanced. That's how I believe, you know, in that. So let me check on this egg again. Okay, so it looks done. Hopefully it's not overcooked for my taste. It, I'm, we're gonna see how this goes. Let me grab a little spatula to get this out. And as you can see, okay, first let's see if it's, if I can get it out. Okay, it's sticking a little bit, not gonna lie. So, oh, it's coming. It just kinda gotta get under there. Okay, let's get my plate. That's, ooh, it's falling apart. Okay, so it did stick a little bit. So next time I might wanna use a little bit of my um, cooking spray. I have avocado cooking spray. You all know that that's my favorite, but it's not too bad. I mean, realistically, it barely stuck. So I would say it's not that bad, but you might want to spray it. And then let's get some salt and pepper and we're going to try this. See how it tastes. See, I mean, and that was so fast, even quicker than, you know, being on the stove. And that's the beauty of quick machines like this is you feel like you can actually make a good meal. Let's see how this tastes. It's good, Not, I mean, it's really good. And it was quick and easy. I mean, I still think I like my steamed eggs a little bit better. They just have a little more of a fried taste to it. But for a quick egg, this is absolutely, this is actually really good, it's delicious. And like I said, it'd be the perfect size to put on a sandwich or on top of a pancake. If you wanna, you know, make a pancake on your stove and do this, and you're not doing two things at once. So good, makes it easy. Stay tuned, we're gonna try some pancakes in it later and a few other things. But so far this egg is a win. So if you wanna buy it, I would say it's $10. Give it a try, delicious. Stay tuned, we'll be checking out some more recipes later in this video. Hi everyone, I'm back. And this time we're gonna test out the mini griddle with a protein pancake. So I use my flapjack pancake mix, which is just an add water protein pancake, and we're gonna try it in here. So I simply just did about 10 grams, so it's gonna make a small pancake. I didn't wanna overflow the mini griddle, so I thought let's start small. I'm gonna top with some almond butter. 
I thought this would be a quick and easy afternoon snack. It sounded good to me. So we're already heated up and I did spray on some avocado spray and then I brushed it on both surfaces. The egg stuck a little bit, but not bad. So I wouldn't really say it, it stuck, you know, horribly, but I thought for the pancake, I don't want it to become a gooey mess. So I did spray it and now we're just going to brush this in to the griddle and we'll see how this goes. If this is nice and quick, this will be a good way to just make up like I said, the problem is, is that if you're cooking for a family, you know, one little pancake isn't gonna do much. So we'll have to see if it's for a quick afternoon snack, that's great. Like this, I'm like, okay, perfect. I need, you know, some protein, some carbs, some fat, perfect little combo here. And we're just gonna see, give this a minute or two because as we know, pancakes don't take long to cook and we do not want to burn my pancake. So let's see how we're doing in here. Still needs a little bit longer. And um, the thing is, is it's not touching the top of it. So hopefully it just kind of all steams it together. I'm gonna grab my almond butter here for a second and I grab a knife to go with it. And I will show you too how I measure out like when I'm doing, um, when I'm using nut butters or any sort of toppings, how quick and easy it is. I'm gonna put my little plate up there. We're gonna check it one more time. Now I'm thinking it's gonna need to be flipped, which I didn't think that that was the case, but I kind of feel like it does. So it cook, it is cooking up nice and it's not sticking. So I'm just gonna kind of flip it on there. Ooh, it does look really nice, but I did feel like it needed to be flipped. Maybe because I didn't fill it up enough in here that it was gonna pop up and touch the top part. Oops, too, too soon, too soon. Let it cook a little bit longer. So yes, it did need to be flipped. Um, another thing that I saw that would be really good in here is a quesadilla and I buy those four inch organic flour tortillas from Trader Joe's and they're nice and little and you could do it with corn. So we might have to just give that a try and see. And that would be something, I know my, my twins love to help me in the kitchen. That's one thing that they love to do. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna move this so you can see my scale, is I just put the pancake on there and I'm gonna turn it on. Make sure that it's zero, okay, it's at zero. And then I'm just gonna kinda scoop out a little almond butter and we're gonna, ooh, it's trippy. And we're gonna put it right on here. And let's see, okay. And then we're gonna kinda move it around and it's gonna tell us how many grams we used. Okay, so three grams of almond butter. And then you can just track that if you're tracking macros or however you're doing it. And you're all set, let me taste this and see. Mmm, delicious. It tastes just like it would on a pan. So it's actually really good. And that was much quicker quicker than heating up the stove because whenever you heat up a pan, it takes a while. This is so fast with heat up. I mean a minute and that's it and it's ready to go. And then this took less than a minute to cut. Even though I did have to flip it, not a big deal. Quick afternoon snack. Again, if you have kids, they could do this. The possibilities, I'm really liking this. This is kind of fun. I'm gonna have to show the girls. They're gonna be jealous. They might steal it from me. I may never see it again. No, we'll all be using it here in this house. So good, such a good snack. Again, I will link it down below. And I'll be back with a few more things. Well, maybe we'll try out the quesadilla. Maybe we'll try out a panini or something like that. We'll see, stay tuned, see what we get into. We'll be back. Hi everyone, I'm back and I have my girls with me. We are gonna try some quesadillas in our mini dash griddle, in our dash mini griddle. And we're gonna try a couple different kinds. Michaela likes just straight up cheese quesadilla. So we are going, we're using these organic mini flour tortillas I get from Trader Joe's. They are, I think they're about four inches. I don't know, they fit perfectly on this four inch mini griddle. So they've gotta be a four inch tortilla. And Isabella is going, and Sophia as well, they are gonna do cheese and chicken. Isabella, of course, has to use dairy-free cheese, and this is our favorite shredded dairy-free, wouldn't you say, Belle? So that's how we're gonna make her a quesadilla. And then I just have some already cooked up chicken breast that I just shredded, and we're gonna throw that in there, and we're gonna give this a try. So Michaela's gonna go first. So set yours in, don't touch it. It is hot and on and ready to go. And so we got it in there, and now she's going to add the cheese, just being careful not to touch the, maker because it is hot and it's on it's ready to go is that good or whatever do you think you want a little bit more mm. one more so we are just i can kind of show you so we put the, the one tortilla this one on and then this one oops and then this one's gonna go 
right on top, and then we're just gonna shut it and let that cook. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but we're just gonna kind of let it cook. This is definitely quicker than getting, you know, turning the stove on and using mm -hmm. that pan. So the nice thing, like I said earlier in the video, I really like that this mini griddle can be used by my daughters. So like if Sophia wants to cook for them, I know she's I definitely can... getting into you know, the age where she's liking to cook for the girls, which is amazing. So I feel safe saying, hey, you can get on the mini griddle and cook that. So that's what, I love this. Isn't this cute? And it's yeah. pink. Who, who can't love that? Um, so let's, yeah, so it's already in it. So it's not ready yet, of course. And these were frozen, so they might take a little bit because I freeze them when I buy them and we might not go through the whole thing. So we're gonna let this cook up here and then we'll show you what it looks like yeah. when it's all And done. this literally took, I don't know, a couple minutes, Two not minutes. even, Two minutes. not even, and it is done. Now she is one that doesn't like it crazy. I'm gonna use my spatula so I do not burn my fingers. She is one that doesn't like it crazy crispy, but wow, I mean, you can see it's cheesy. It looks it's melty. Real, it's really nice and melty. and. It was so much quicker than hot? turning. It's really hot, so don't <laughs> eat it yet. It was so much quicker than turning on the stove. Now Isabella wants to do hers, we're her so we're gonna put one of these tortillas. Let me flip it on top, and she is going to. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then we'll put some cheese and some shredded chicken on here, like that, like so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever you want. Should we do one more piece? Yeah. And I just made sure, because we've never done it on here before, so I just made sure that the pieces were small enough that it'd be able to like shut yeah, on it. Do you need more cheese or is that one? One more. One more scoop of cheese. Put this one. Hold on. So, yep, so there's cheese, chicken. Now we're just gonna kind of put that right on top there and then close wait. it down. <laughs> it's just, the only reason it's not closing as it's well is because it's frozen and it's a little thicker. Oh, there we go. So now it's staying down. We're gonna let this cook for about a minute or two. We're gonna make up Sophia's, which Sophia is going to do. Same as Isabella, except she's gonna use the regular cheese, but same thing. And like I said, I literally just took pre-made chicken breast, because we love chicken in this house, and shredded it, and we're keeping it easy. This is such an easy, quick, healthy dinner. Like I always say, do not overthink healthy eating. Just kind of think, you know, car carbs, protein, fats, and get your meals in and find what you like. So all of a sudden, these girls were hungry, and mom didn't really have a plan for dinner. So I'm like, how about quesadillas? And they said, sounds good. Now, this little chickadee right here is not a huge quesadilla fan. So we will get her made up something. We won't let her starve. <laughs> She'll have chicken of some sort, but not a quesadilla. But right, my Kenzie? We'll make sure that you eat well. Yeah, it might be kind of hot. So yeah, do you want me to rip it up for you? So we can show everyone the inside. Is that okay? So it's nice. I mean, look at how cheesy. I mean, and it melted so well. So, I mean, this is like a really good looking quesadilla. I mean, I even think it looks better than when we make it on the pan. Mm -hmm. It's and easy. It's because you don't have to flip it. So it just how is it? This is really good. It's really good. Do you give it like thumbs up or anything? It's that even better. Be so Better than on the stove. Yeah, so, one out of ten. If anything, mm -hmm. so for ten dollars, we're so, making like restaurant quality pieces. One out of ten, I would pick ten. One and out of ten, ten, she picks a ten. And from the stove, nine. Oh, so mm -hmm. it's it's one point higher than when we cook it on the stove. But we're gonna let Isabella's cook up here, and let's see. We'll check it before I say we'll be right back. Now I'll tell you one thing about Isabella's cheese. Be it, takes long. it takes longer to melt, so this might take a little bit longer. I think Michaela's was. Mm -hmm one to two minutes, it was yeah. really quick. So Isabella's cheese, the dairy-free cheese, definitely takes a little longer to melt. Not a big deal, just know that when you're making it, if you're making it with dairy-free cheese, that it, you need a little more time. Yeah. Otherwise, this mini griddle has cooked so many things really quickly. We tried the pancakes, that was quick. We tried uh, over easy egg, and that was quick. So there's so many options, and while this is cooking, let me just tell you, I was looking in the recipe guide, and the, the chocolate brownie pancakes, they're like, they're made with a banana, an egg, so a little bit like healthier of a chocolate pancake, which I'm interested to try it. So it has one banana, an egg, butter, sugar, vanilla, flour, baking soda, salt, and unsweetened cocoa powder, which I which would be great, you know? And, and then they show you how to make an egg salt breakfast sandwich. And then they also, one thing that sounded delicious to me back here, a cheeseburger slider. So I thought, you know what would be fun? Like I think you could just put like a, burger patty or some ground beef in here, close it and cook it that way. Mm -hmm. And it'd be really quick. Isabella is my burger girl. You like hamburgers too. Do I don't know how you would do it with the cheese. We have to figure that out. I think you'd have to, let me just check this. Put it down, put the cheese Okay, on. this is looking good. Okay, so we're gonna get a plate. Will you grab Isabella a plate for yeah. me? We're gonna grab a plate and plate hers and then get on to make Sophia's. 
So this looks yeah. perfect. Like I said, hers just takes a little bit longer to get all melty. It's definitely a little bit different consistency than Michaela's, well, but other than that, really it's pretty. Oh, she's still saying hers is really good. Sophia, do you want to make yours? Show them how easy it is to do it. Where's the cheese though, Miss Michaela? Can you pass oh, Sophia Mackenzie the cheese? Has it. Oh, Mackenzie has it. They My girls love, like love it. they just love eating this cheese. <laughs> yes, and Isabella loves her cheese. And I'll tell you something about Isabella. So, you know, she's been dairy free for, I mean, we found out she's like dairy. Before nine, I don't know, six. probably three Not years ago school. maybe, but now like regular cheese just is like too much for her. She doesn't even like, like regular grilled cheese. She thinks it's is good. like over the yeah, top. Yeah, I didn't. I I like my dairy better. Yeah, she, so you know, and that's one thing I always say too is we just sometimes need to you know change our habits, change our thinking, and it all works. Okay, so Sophia right here. She's just swapping on some of this chicken. She's got the cheese going. And like I said, you will definitely see that, the, she's gonna need more cheese. You will definitely see that this cheese is going to melt, is that enough chicken, sweetie? Good, yes. Is going to melt quicker than Isabella's. And she's just gonna tumble on. You're not gonna start eating mine. Should you just eat my clip? Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, that works. I just don't want Isabella using your plate because oh. hers is dairy free. Isabella's saying hers is really hot. You want me to rip it in half? Oh, my hands. Yeah, and like this handle right here, it stays cool. So I'll show. I'll just kind of show you the inside. So there's chicken. It's mm -hmm. nice and melty, and it I mean, it turned out really well for a dairy -free. for a dairy free. Yeah. So it did yeah. a good job melting it without burning. That was my only thought is by using the dairy free oh, cheese. God, I thought it might burn the outside before it melted the cheese, but it actually didn't. So that's a win. I am really impressed. I think this is gonna be our new favorite way to make dinner. And let me tell you, it's gonna take us like, what, five, 10 minutes to make everybody dinner? Yeah. Like quick, when easy. Take like 10 20. Right, and I'd be in the kitchen forever, so now I don't have to be. So we're gonna let Sophia's- It's easy dinner, it's like you're not in the kitchen with us. Yeah, like it's one of those things that I said, you could totally use this on your own to make careful. Really you could use this on your, oh, Michaela finished her, she loved Isabella saying it's really good. Let's check this, this out. Super. Not yet. A little but, bit longer. But this is real good. Yeah. So we're loving our mini dash maker. Um, this might be it for today. What else? We have so many things we're gonna try in this. So stay tuned. I think this is good for today's video. We could keep going and going and then you'd be here forever. So in today's video, you saw that it works amazing for quesadillas. This might be one of the favorite ways. Totally. It said in the directions you can make a cookie. Stay tuned, we'll be trying that soon because it might be nice to try it in here and compare it against the, but we will definitely be trying different things in the weeks to come because now this is like our new fun gadget. So maybe we'll have to do some taste tests of different things that can go in here. I have also read that you could do a hot dog but you'd have to like cut it in half, I don't know. We might have to try that, different things. So we will, oh, and I still want to try like paninis and a grilled cheese in here would be quick. Put a little butter on, you know, do it all in there. Ten. Yeah. You guys ten ten out. Oh, Isabella's saying a 10 out of 10 for a quesadilla. So the egg was delicious, quick and easy. The pancake was quick and easy. And this is quick and easy. Like I said, amazing. The only thing that's the downfall is if you have a big family like we do, we have to make them each individually, but the girls That's are okay. Nice. At some point, I could see us purchasing a second one of these. Like we have um, a couple mini waffle right. makers. We, I told them we have four total. One is for celiac, oh, yeah. just for daddy, and then the other ones are for us. But I always have two mini waffles going at a time, so definitely I could see us purchasing a second one of these. So make sure that you like and subscribe down below. Let us know what other kind of recipes and tools you want us to taste and find out about. But we will be definitely trying different recipes in this little mini griddle and we'll be sharing them with you. But I think so far we all give this one a thumbs up. And, and yeah, and, oh, it's starting to look really good. And I love that the girls can pretty much do this on their own as long as they're careful. You can kind of see inside, oh, it's getting all nice good? and gooey. Yeah, it's probably good. Like I said to Michaela, it depends how crispy you like I don't it. like it too. Okay, so then this is probably pretty good. Mm -hmm. sure. My plate. If you can unplug it. And then you just unplug my it. I don't use my plate. So, so. That's okay. And that's it, easy as can be. So have a great day everybody. Like, subscribe down below, and we will see you all next time. Goodbye. Bye.